everyone, and welcome back. We're back again. Storm here. Mom here. Hi. Kimmy here. <laughs> We're going to be watching more of The Legend of Korra, and we are on episode seven of season four, Reunion. What does that even mean? Well, that, that makes me excited. <laughs> yes. Get together. Yes, it's been a long together, time. It's been like what, like half the season now that we haven't seen them together. Been too long. And, right, that's for sure. Yeah, like full on Oops. gang yeah. with two A's together. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> <For egg>. uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, like I really want to see them reunite. We try not to read the description, as you know, just because of spoiler reasons. I really like Julie. I like her a lot, and I yes. truly think that she. She's not evil and decided to just screw her boss and not in the literal sense. That's not a bad, <laughs> sorry, well, but yeah. like just say like, forget <laughs> yeah. you, I'm She's, out kind of stuff. Like yeah, bad at it. she could never do that to him. Yeah, so yeah. she already puts up with so much. I know people like reach their breaking point, but they're in such a bad situation that in this moment to just follow a different, not that he's a tyrant, but following someone else, that's... Mm -hmm. even worse <laughs> yeah, I'm like, right, yeah, yeah there's something more going on so i feel like she has this ultimate plan to get back at quivera whatever that might yeah. be definitely yeah, and i, I and so. Beric did pretty well he did i was Seven impressed touching. he was ready he's, he's like poland will nice. find a way he'll do the thing whatever the thing may be and i'm <laughs> yes, like holy right. crap like just like thinking on that that's bad so oh my god, my the god. last second finally Bolin just reacted and saved them and if he didn't do that oh my god so <laughs> Varric is crazy, <laughs> but I like yeah, his character yeah, a lot. He's, he's awesome, crazy. Mm -hmm. but, and uh, he was able to build it without Julie, so he does. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know he's eccentric and he has like the brain power, anyways, to come up with these inventions. But Julie's always mm -hmm. there, so I kind of thought like maybe she was also. We were talking about that last right. time where she and was Quibble so skilled least, with those yeah. big machines, right. and I'm like, wow, maybe she really is knowledgeable. She probably about learned stuff. so much through him. Probably you know, over the Definitely. years, yeah. And we don't know anything about her, so she probably has like maybe some training in martial right. arts or she's something. Because yeah. yeah. she was like full ready, like you know, to defend and yeah. yeah. So hopefully she'll come around. How, how funny would it be if she does something in this episode to get back at Kuvira after all that? Because we've never yes. seen this. <laughs> and a few people on YouTube I noticed, um, which you guys, you know, I, I get why you say things about like, oh well, they already finished the series, so there's no spoilers, like they won't get spoiled. But that's not true. I know a lot of of reactors get way ahead and we hope to do that one day but we are pretty much in the moment we're a week ahead with certain shows sometimes two weeks if you're watching on patreon you will spoil us if you put major things in the comment section so usually on youtube i read the comments after we finish a series or we have friends that tell us stuff that already saw the series i bet what you guys have to say but other than that like we just don't want to get spoiled so thank you for those who care and don't try to just drop spoilers just yeah. to do it because it's really cool not knowing and being genuine about it mm -hmm. fingers crossed yeah, and for sure. the battle last time was very depressing i mean it was a great oh, battle with Vera, but it oh. just sucks with cora and i love her don't get me wrong Vera, but yeah. man i just really wanted her to step up and she's just it's too hard She's not she over it, and she still has so many mental scars that she has to get past. Right. And, and now Sue yes, and family, not good. Not good. No, it isn't. It's it not. isn't, and just out to be mocked, you know, just like in those metal suits now, just yeah. being in front of the whole, like all the civilians, oh, know. the whole I, city. It is so sad. Degrading, you know? But anywho, I think we should well, get into this because I want to yeah, see what's going to happen. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. So this one's called Reunion. Hey, he's shaking his butt. He's <laughs> <laughs> like a little kid. Oh, oh. oh mommy! I think oh, dogs get reunited. Oh, I love that. Look at <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, how sweet! Oh, yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> my oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that! Look at Look at look at those eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my, oh god. my goodness, he has a great boss. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, he's, uh, he's gonna fall. <laughs> Hop on. Hop on. 
one. If you get can get one. Okay, yeah, let's just walk together. Whoa! Whoops! Oh. Trap. Uh oh! A trap. Here's. Ah. Bless you. Don't send them off. Can we do the episode oh to save for me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, see, I said like she was going to slip up. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I, stop. Oh, why would she bite <laughs> you? Help. Oh, Mac was really pounding. <laughs> right away. Ooh. Ouch. Oh. At least he listens to him. Yeah, that's right. Uh oh, what is he having under his towel? Oh, yeah, this is going to be the towel. Yeah. Uh oh, oh the oh, only time, Whoa, the one shit. time. Whoa! <laughs> Are you going to say Julie? Hey, Jeff. <laughs> Tooth through this rope. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, sorry, I have said the voices. I'm oh. like, I know those voices. <laughs> He's gone. Oh. There he is. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay, so in Well, come on. Shortcut. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I love that name. Oh. Man. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, communicate with the spirits. Make out for that. That's mm -hmm. gross. Sounds like June. And his voice. Mm -hmm. Good job, Bolin. Woo! Oh, oh. oh wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Just to be able to cool up. it off. I can make lava happen, but I can also stop it and cool it off. <laughs> <laughs> and yet we laugh. <laughs> Yeah, nice. <laughs> Talked himself out of that. Uh oh, oh my god. Oh, he waves right to him. Oh. See, there's your proof. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. Lava bend that ooh. thing. It's on fire. <laughs> nice. Slip and fall. Go Bolin! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I know what to do with these. Jeez. Oh. Jeez. Move, move. Not for the kill. Oh, sweet. 
huge weakness. Excellent. <laughs> See, this will prove your worth too because mm -hmm. you're defending them. Right. Yeah, that's like a lethal bending power. Whoa, it's like crap. Right. Don't mess with that. <laughs> I thought Maka was going to make it. Yeah. How far mm -hmm. have we come? Yes, you are. Isn't that like <laughs> metal? <your> eyes. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, God, when you have so many oh, metal benders, God, it's uh, like, what do you do? Airbend. Oh, God. Date. I knew it. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, my gosh. Right. Oh, oh, God. Oh, friends. Good. <laughs> Good. Oh, Good. Oh, First of all, I'm sorry, friends, yes, but no. <laughs> Oh, he's so long. Oh, because oh, she's so with politics. Yes, she oh has the uh, queen's picture. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Is that the big tree? <gasps> no, they can't do that one. Oh, oh they is. are going for that. Oh, it's like Pandora all over again. No! no. Which other show is all doing Pandora references? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> That's not good. So it's kind of cool because now I'm excited that Toph might still be involved and might come mm -hmm. back to defend that area. So they're just wow. full out going for the main tree. Like, that's how selfish they are. You have this huge swamp that's they all connected. They want the strongest. Right, yes, they're they're like, the most mighty. Let's just take yeah. down the biggest part of it and destroy everything. Because that's not going to affect that's anything. Right, it's just right, one right at the root. Right. Not They couldn't take a branch or something. It had no, to be right they had to the take root. the whole thing. Yeah, that's terrible. Oh, so hopefully they don't... I mean, things always change in this show. They always try to make it new all the time. So I'm really hoping that this whole area doesn't get destroyed if they are successful and cut down this whole tree. I don't know. That's so I'm know. hoping that they are able to save it. Yeah, but especially bad. now with yeah. them just starting to cut it. You never know if Toph is right there. And she yeah, is so in tune with vibrations oh, that, yeah. yeah I was oh, yeah, she like, might get yeah. She's amazing. I'm so happy that we at least saw her for a little bit. And now that's I'm right. just convinced she'll be back. But I am happy to see the gang back together again. That's Me sweet. Too. And Most it's more oh, realistic, yeah. too, right? Because, like, mm -hmm. they get back together. And, like, with long term friends, I feel, and I know a lot of you guys will agree as well, that when you're really good with certain people and you haven't seen them in a while, when you see oh. them again, it's like nothing changed. It's like, yes, yes. yes. I'm mean, changed, totally but yeah, yeah, you just go right back to how like it, that. it's right, yeah, it was it last time. Yeah. yeah. So I love that. You can just pick up where you left off and, you mm -hmm. know, so it's kind of like that for them. But they are also close enough where, you know, arguing is not good, but it is normal where you, they have a lot going on That's too. Right. So it's yeah. not like and a typical and conversation close. and they're that close. So, and they were able to work it out later. So they're very mature together. They care That's about right. each other. And for Asami to say that, I mean, she was defensive at first, but she had every right. And she's usually the cool one where, yes, you know, she, she had so many things happen to her. sensitive about her father. And I get that, yes. Yeah. So I understand why, you know, she's trying to kind yeah. of restart with him. But um, Cora, you know, that's a normal response on Cora's end because, like, yeah, like mm -hmm. the last time she saw her and the crap they went through together, like, yeah, her father was terrible. And honestly, like, he was enraged. And I really do believe he's truly sorry for what he did. Gotta but be cautious. At the time, he was almost willing to kill her. I think he almost yeah. tried to kill her a couple times or mm -hmm. severely injure her, yeah. which is almost dying because like, I can't remember what he did, but he had the weapon or something and he was going after her, And I remember being shocked yeah, and I'm was... like, wow, yeah, he's gone yeah. to mm -hmm. actually do that to your own daughter. Like that's really, really bad. But yeah, so I really think he's just trying to be better now. He realizes yeah, his he mistake, like he it. said, because even though people say mm -hmm. it doesn't mean they actually mean it sometimes. Mm -hmm. It could be lonely, but it's I truly think just... he means it. So anyways, yeah, I'm glad that they had like that realism of, uh, you know, them arguing because, you know, Asami just let her feelings out. Well, we didn't see you in three years. Like, you can't have an opinion on this. And although that wasn't fair because 
she doesn't know Cora's story either on how she struggled. Yeah, and true, yeah. it sounds bad because she's like, well, you know, I could have came back, but I wasn't ready until now. And I can see it getting defensive. So I thought the argument was going to escalate from there and be like, yeah. well, just because, oh, because you weren't ready, like now it's okay. Like it's still your fault that you weren't here for three years, blah, blah, blah. But she had yeah. to go through rehab and, you know, she had a lot of mental problems and was still Humongously, and they don't know what she's been through. They should be saying, well, yeah. oh my God, what did you go through? I can't, even, right. I can't even imagine. Yeah. And now that things are cooled off now, you know, they'll probably talk now about Now they'll open that up, and yeah. And, so going to the prince... You know, he is fun to laugh at and he does get annoyed. But I have to say again, like I said during the reaction that, you know, he is a nice guy. Like he's very um, he conceited. Is. He's very uh, just selfish and into himself. Yeah, he doesn't know right. anything else. But for him to listen to Mako, and oh, Mako's right, yeah. a good one to listen to because he's very he smart. He can't do he's anything without him. That's yeah, right. and he listens to Mako. Like he's like the father of that relationship. Yeah, I and think so. Definitely. He's gonna, you know, <laughs> he charge. shouldn't have let him go to the bathroom by himself because he still needed a guard and that's the best opportunity for someone to try yeah. to ambush him I guess and mm -hmm. although it sounds really gross I would never want that job but you know that was the one time that he of course gets ambushed but I like how the prince actually does listen and he listens yeah, to Mako and doesn't yes, argue definitely. points. He whines. Oh, humongously. Even when he thought he was getting poisoned, he's like, what am I allergic to? And yeah, Mako right. knew. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Yeah. He just he just wholeheartedly trusts Mako. Mm -hmm. He has nothing mm -hmm. else to, and I feel bad because here he is royalty. doesn't even matter. Look how Quivera just stepped all over him and mm -hmm. no one else stepped up. Like that was it. And right, he has yeah. no one else to fall back on. He only has Mako. So what a lonely That's life good. to have as well. Yeah, it is. So, and he wants to embrace anyone he meets. <laughs> he just which instantly is sweet. wants to be. Yeah, yeah that's his, his character his where friends. his friends and and immediately he always flirts with girls thinking that he's the best and they're going to want to go with him on a date oh or something. Goodness, so yeah. he's still like very, <laughs> you know, arrogant. So far way. it's only grandma yes. that wants to date him. Oh, I grandma. think that's hilarious. Yeah. She's yes, a true character too because yes, she had yes. the queen's picture and was like, you know, like yes. she had no clue how bad that queen was. That's right. Queen. Yeah, still, and no. she only, she was in the outer rim. She, you know, was very poor didn't have any communication, didn't see what the mm -hmm. queen did or was living, you know, how she was living. She was just so loyal and just really just trusted that she was like the queen. She's like, I got to follow her, like just idolized her. And so, yeah, so she likes royalty. And um, so it's going to be fun having the prince there, I guess. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. Right. And it's he wants that too. Because he's such a sweet, genuinely nice guy. <laughs> and a lot of people yes. haven't oh. been giving him attention, like the good attention he wants. So <laughs> that'll yeah, be good right. for him as well. But Asami still, like she's come so far and to still have all these assets, like she rebuilt the company and worked so hard to keep her she dad's did. company she going. Did. And to still have like these huge houses and now... Mako and Bolin's family living there temporarily, maybe yeah. permanently, because that's yeah, kind of a nice house. That she that gave them yeah. shelter and a beautiful, beautiful mansion, looks yeah, like. Mm -hmm. And hopefully yeah. they don't treat the help if there's help there like Bolin did when he <laughs> wanted to live that yeah. high end lifestyle. I'm sure they're really. You know, pat me dry. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm really sure they're really grateful. Happy about it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You know, having that much money, I think we've talked about this on Cora, but I don't know. I wouldn't have like people wait on me and do so. I would be so weirded no, out by I that. I'm, I know people weird. change, but like Bolin be like, pat me dry because there's still people and I know it's their oh, job, gosh. but I wouldn't want people like always trying to do no. everyday things that I do myself. <laughs> so no, you got to be independent. You got to you gotta do right. your own stuff, no. man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's for sure. And going to Quivera now with these spirit vines, like that's not good. So they want to make a more powerful weapon. I mean, the one that Varric made was huge. I mean, that was very powerful. Yeah. So now it's going to be worse than that. So. But on the oh, other goodness. side, you see Korra really getting in tune with the vines and with Earth. She's really getting in tune with it, too. So maybe that's her way to oh. come back to Quivera at. You know, you never know. Yeah, maybe she can connect sure. with the machine. You're right. Yes. Maybe whatever oh, maybe. they make big laser beam or some kind of bomb or i don't oh. know because i'm thinking of uh the past like you know spirit weapons we've been seeing with the big red beam of the bad guy oh, oh right out. Sure, yeah bot two mm -hmm. yes yeah, like maybe her and tough together can that would actually be kind of cool maybe neutralize it uh -huh. or something or use that kind of like bending technique to calm the spirit energy and make it obsolete i don't know so i'm very yeah, interested yeah. and i just hope they don't get a lot of the vines because that would be terrible 
but very good show. I just love the animation. I'm always geeking out by how That's much good, love goes yeah. into this show. It's always very um, impressive to me. And yeah, so Boland still has to be with the gang. So he hasn't met up yet. Yes, but That's he's, right, yeah. you know, he's with a good group of people now. And mm -hmm. hopefully they can get there together without any hitches. <laughs> you know, yeah. Right. So very good. Or drowning. And <laughs> Boland are great working together. And they're so different and powerful in their own right, right? And mm -hmm. I love how Bolin, like, he's such a great fighter as an earthbender anyways, right. but, and he's such a soft soul. So when he earthbends, it's like, wow, yeah, that's right. You know, not that I forget, oh, yeah. but right. just because he's so soft and then he's like hard and he's bending. And now he has this lava bending, which is so oh, wow, lethal. Like, I want to say that's else. probably the worst yeah. or dangerous, most dangerous bending there is, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. even like metal bending, blood bending though, I know that could be a huge debate Ugh. and there's so many different things, but yeah. like with lava bending, you can't even touch lava. Like not that no, you, I've that's... never tested, but on YouTube, I saw a few things like what would happen if lava touched this or touched that? And it's bad. You can't even get close to it. it I was going to so say you can't get close to it. Get no. close. Yeah. So It'll, many like, degrees. I heard on YouTube that if a little like flake of lava landed on your hand, you can't even cool it off. You have to let it go through or something. Like it has to actually melt and go through because it's too hot. I think if you try to put water on it, it actually makes it expand and it heats it's up and nice. makes it worse. So you have to let it melt through. You have or, to heed the warnings. So yeah, I just, just think like, like one little fleck. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. And then you can cool it off too. So you can just build these walls all yeah, the time. Or... Just think yeah. about when you have a fire on a stove. They say, do not do it. throw water on it. Right. That's and that's just a worse. stove town. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So and that's just. It's just fun thinking about stuff that. like that. It was like, holy crap. Like what's really worse. But Bolin really does it. have the upper hand when it comes to lava bending and knowing how to use it properly without killing everyone in his oh, way, yeah. you know, and then cooling it off. I just love how he can cool it off too. That so was, that way it's that not like very impressive. Cause it's like when you start a fire with fire bending, of course you have to have a lot of control like Mako and Zuko, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. when you're enraged and you start setting things on fire, you can't be like, Oh crap. And snuff it out. Like it's going out of control and that's mm -hmm. it. But with lava yeah. bending, you can count, you know, cause it's earth bending. So you're using the rocks. And those firebenders cool that were yeah. with them, they were controlling it very well with burning off the ropes. That was neat. Wrist. I like that. It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I love the subtleties again. Like, it's just so amazing what that's you can do with bending. Yeah. And they really, um, mm -hmm. again, Airbender was great with that, but now they've really expanded, you know, the different ideas in this series, mm -hmm. and it's fun. But can't wait to watch more, guys. Great yeah. show. And I think we're halfway done with this season, and I'm um, glad half the gang, or most of the gang, is back together. With the yes, bridge. it was yes. great to see Cora and Tenzin yeah. and the kids. Yes, That's and Tenzin. Right. Oh my God, you even mentioned Tenzin. I love Tenzin so much. That was good to see everyone. And Milo, how he is with his he eyebrows. He is so funny. He's I know so he's like a big so eyebrows, funny. bushy eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> love the kids. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you very soon as always. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Yeah. Yeah.